Welcome back to Logan Random Aquascaping. My name is Logan, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up a full pressurized CO2 system for a planted aquarium. And we're gonna be demonstrating that using the UNS Pro dual stage regulator. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in order to put together a full pressurized CO2 system, you're gonna need some materials. And those materials are a pressurized CO2 cylinder. They come anywhere from five pounds to 20 pounds. You're gonna need a regulator. You're gonna need some CO2 proof hosing, and you're gonna need a CO2 diffuser. And before we get started with the build, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. That is Boost Plant. They sent me over the UNS Pro dual stage regulator for today's build. And this is a really, really amazing regulator. The build quality is incredible, it's extremely durable, and because it's dual stage, it makes controlling the pressure and bubble count really, really convenient. So for step one of assembling the system, you're gonna wanna grab your CO2 cylinder and ensure that the main valve is closed, and you can do that by tightening it clockwise. Anytime you're working with assembling or disassembling a full CO2 system, always make sure that all valves are fully closed. Also be sure that the working pressure knob on your regulator is fully closed before attaching it to the CO2 canister. You can do that by adjusting it counterclockwise until the minus sign is all the way closed. Step two, we're going to add the regulator onto the CO2 cylinder. And for the first part, we're just gonna finger tighten the nut on the regulator onto this part of the CO2 cylinder. And then next up, we're gonna make sure it's on there really tight and secure with the wrench. And this wrench is included with the UNS regulator. Now for step three, we're gonna customize our bubble counter manifold. Now this can vary a little bit depending on how you wanna set up your CO2 system. For example, if you wanna supply multiple aquarium with a single CO2 tank and regulator, you can actually add different manifold blocks with their respective bubble counters onto this regulator. Today, I'm just gonna be using the one because I'll only be supplying a single tank with CO2. However you set this up, just make sure that the end of your manifold uses the manifold block that doesn't have the center hole. If you use the one with the center hole, when you go to apply the pressure, it's gonna come out of that center hole. So just make sure you use the one that doesn't have the center hole at the end of the manifold block. Next up, we're gonna fill our bubble counter with water. By placing water in the bubble counter, it's gonna allow us to see how many bubbles per second we are injecting our aquarium with. And I recommend filling it to about 80 or 90% because once you have some pressure in there from the CO2, the water level is gonna rise a bit. For step five, we're going to attach our CO2 proof hosing. And the difference between CO2 proof hosing versus regular airline hose is that it is not permeable to CO2 and it won't break down over time. Over time, regular airline hose gets very brittle and you get some CO2 that permeates out of the plastic. With the CO2 proof hosing in place, it's time to attach a CO2 diffuser to the other end of the hosing. And this is where you can really customize things. Today, I'll be using the Twin Star diffuser. I I like this diffuser because it's fairly inconspicuous and it does a really good job of creating tiny little CO2 bubbles. Now that everything is actually attached and set up, it's time to release the pressure. And you're gonna do this by first opening the main valve on the CO2 cylinder. And you can open that up all the way. At this point, the meter on the right side of the regulator should read about 800 PSI if you're using a full CO2 cylinder. And now we're gonna adjust our working pressure. And what working pressure is, it's essentially how much pressure is kept inside of the regulator that you have to work with. And the good thing about a dual stage regulator is that your working pressure is very, very consistent. So once you set a bubble counter, even as the pressure of the cylinder drops, the working pressure will maintain the same so that your bubble count remains the same until the cylinder is of course fully empty. So release the working pressure by adjusting the pressure knob clockwise towards the plus icon, and you want it to hit about 25 PSI. And now it's time to power on the regulator, place the CO2 diffuser inside of your aquarium, and adjust the needle valve. Now, depending on the size of your tank, you're gonna need a different bubble per second. It really depends on your filtration, where the diffuser is, the type of diffuser you're using. So I can't give you a blanket statement for what bubbles per second you should use, but a good starting point is about one to three bubbles per second depending on the size of the tank. The key thing you wanna do is use a CO2 drop check 
Tracker, this contains a solution that will turn lime green when you've hit optimum levels of CO2. If it's blue, that means that your CO2 have not yet saturated the water to those ideal conditions. And typically you wanna hit those lime green levels at about two hours after the light in your aquarium turns on. And you can achieve this by first finding that appropriate bubble count and having the CO2 come on around two hours before the lights turn on. And then you want the CO2 to turn off two hours before the lights go off. So I highly, highly recommend that you connect your CO2 to a timer so that it does this every single day without you having to think about it. Because remember, with aquascaping, consistency is everything. So that concludes the build. As you can see, there's nothing to be afraid about when using CO2 in the planted aquarium. As long as you're using a timer and you monitor your levels, you do your research, and you follow all instructions when setting up that regulator and pressurized canister, there's just nothing to be afraid of. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to send it to a friend, like the video, and subscribe to the channel for lots more cool content like this. My name is Logan, and I will see you guys and gals next time.